In this video, we're going to tackle the addition and subtraction of fractions. Now, one of the biggest understandings that students need to understand before they go into operations of fractions is this meaning of a unit fraction. They need to understand that when they see fractions, they're really parts of a whole. We want students to see that when they have four fourths, it can also be seen as a quarter plus a quarter plus a quarter plus a quarter. And a unit fraction is one over anything. Take this for example. When you see this fraction, you see it as three quarters or three fourths. It can also be seen as three one fourths. Big understanding. And it's here where students can begin to think flexibly about fractions. Try this two fourths plus three fourths. Does the image help? Well, of course it does. And now because students see two one-fourths and three one-fourths, they can begin to move those units around using the associative property. Here, we'll take two-fourths from our three-fourths, give it to our two-fourths to make a whole, and we're left with one and one-fourth, or five one-fourths. And this understanding, it also works with subtraction. Let's try this with mixed numbers. 1 and 3 eighths minus 6 eighths. Well, there's no need to change the mixed number into an improper fraction if we can see them as unit fractions. Here, we'll just remove 6 1 eighths and we're left with 5 eighths. But we could also think of subtraction as addition. We're here, we'll start at 6 eighths, and how many do I need to add to get up to 1 and 3 eighths? Well, if I jump 2 eighths, that gets me to a whole, and then I add 3 eighths more to get me to my 1 and 3 eighths. In total, I've used 5 eighths, and that's the difference. So this works nicely when we're talking about common denominators, but what might it look like if we use unlike denominators? And here is where we can be really intentional. Let's take this, 2 thirds plus 5 sixths. Oh, we immediately want to go to making a common denominator, but we don't have to if we think of them as units and images. Here, we can take 2 sixths, which is equivalent to 1 third, and we can fill up our 2 thirds, and we're left with 1 and 3 sixths. When we begin to explore unlike denominators, we want to play around with friendly units. Think of using halves, fourths, and eighths, or thirds, sixths, and twelfths. And then eventually, we get to some fractions that might be a little messy. Like when we're adding two sixths and three fourths, those are not friendly units. So what do we do? Well, we need to find common units, or a common denominator. So here we'll go ahead and we'll model two sixths and model three-fourths, and we know now that these are not friendly, so we need to make them the same size units. So we'll go ahead and change these into twelfths, and our two-sixths is equivalent to four-twelfths, and our three-fourths is equivalent to nine-twelfths, and if we count those units, we'll see that we get thirteen-twelfths, which is the same as one and one-twelfth, and there's your need to know.